A huge thank you to all the super sponsors who make it possible for me to make these videos. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. Here we are in the foyer of uh, UAC Black Site by aspiring game developer Shroomzy5000. And uh, this is another one of those instances where someone gives me a map saying, oh, I've... This is my first attempt at a map. I'd like a lot of commentary on uh, is it any good or not. And they come out with masterpieces like this. It's just incredible uh, what uh, people new to the Doom environment can do just now. Look at these arches and the ways that they've uh, incorporated the concrete and the tech uh, textures. I could possibly say that uh, you might want to make the metal stick out from the arches because it, it maybe it looks like it can maybe it looks conflicting when there are stripes between the arches but uh, really I am struggling here uh, little uh, feature by the way uh, that I've never seen anywhere else this is little in-game uh, menu so you can uh, change the music from WAV to MIDI blue card required you know th this is all custom stuff as well that wasn't uh, uh, normal doom Oh. Message. I see you've uh, shared my fascination with uh, discovering GZ Doom and then seeing how much can I possibly cram into this. Which I appreciate very much. Uh, this uses the Supercharge mod, by the way. Uh, so things will be a bit different from normal. Now, that was a bit odd that you have the door texture repeating up there. And it's because the door is higher on one side than the other. Uh, where was the actual door piece? I don't know, but... Oh, we've got a blue key card up there. Uh, oh yeah, there was the actual door. Uh, so yeah, if you put the door just a little bit into the wall, uh, not uh, having one of the lines share the wall, then you'd be able to have a door that's the right size and doesn't go down like that. This is a terrible explanation, but you'll I know you'll work it out because you've made this. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, this weapon's called a Stomper. I haven't played Supercharge in a very long time, so I can't remember what this does, but it looks fairly rockety. Oh, I do like the way that I'm not having to wait for weapons to change. PC Doom isn't even the uh, worst offender here. Uh, now that I've been playing all these uh, console ports, the Super Nintendo one takes about three weeks. Is this a... Uh... No, it's just repeating. I was wondering if this is uh, a door like the famous one in that map that I can't remember the name of. No, oh, fixed it. Uh where it's tied to a lift outside the map that's continually going up and down, so you have to just be lucky that it opens all the way to get you there. Uh, what now? Oh, blue skull required there as well. Uh, usually it's nice to indicate that blue skull's required, uh, or a blue key or anything's required by using some trim on the doors, or some other indicator. Oh, I'm over here now, okay. Oh, this is going to cause some trouble. Oh, the yellow spot in my vision up at the top there. I thought there was an incoming Revenant missile. But it looks like there's something uh, much more benign. Something I might want to take. All right, I got a super shotgun out of that. And a stim pack, and I can't find the way that I came in. Is that it? No, nope, there's a switch. That was not the right switch. You know, I get the switches confused in my house all the time as well. There's the, the light switch is right next to the please teleport in 1000 imps.
I mean, I'm lucky to be able to just circle strafe here and uh, happen to find the space I needed for it. I think if I hadn't been luckier there, that would have been a much uh, more difficult fight. Oh, piss off! <laughs> He's done. Right. We are soul sphered, or indeed supercharged. Uh, what did we get out of that? I, I was expecting a key or something, but uh, I haven't really got anything. But uh, look at these use of the textures up there. Uh, I, I will say that the choice of wood up there looks a bit weird, uh, but maybe they're going for a sort of old-timey aesthetic in this uh, UAC tech base. So we've still got to, to get the red card or the blue card. And the blue card's there, but I don't know how to get to it, because the, the uh, method of getting to it requires the blue card. Hmm. Can't get out there yet. A nice uh, view onto the exit. So we know where we're going. We've got an objective quite early on. Oh, those bridges raised. Okay. I wondered why I didn't recognise where I was. Was that? I suppose, uh, oh Jesus, look at those uh, khaki demons out there. Um, I suppose I said earlier that uh, you were throwing a lot of custom stuff in, but it's possible that this is just the supercharged monsters. I can't remember which one they're supercharged and which aren't. <laughs> Nevertheless, I love when custom stuff's included. Just to see how it's used and how it alters the game. All right, a uh, very slimy alcove there. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Who put this here? How do I get out? Right. I was just looking at that R, the uh, bio seat, saying, okay, I'll, I'll take that once I find a, a large pool of slime, and then you just dropped me in like Dave Benson Phillips. The smashing sound when uh, the door comes down to the corpse is just incredible. <clears throat> they didn't build these doors with the usual courtesies. If this lift's going up and I'm going to do anything I can to make that happen. So is it better to approach from that side or this one? I don't know. Automatic switching of weapons and supercharge. Oh, 
Oh, there's something big over there. Some hideous form of mancubus. Thanks for dealing with that. Didn't leave me much, did you? <coughs> oh, sorry, I promise I didn't sound like this before starting the video. What was that sort of uh, thing battering against the metal fence noise? Because I thought for a moment it was the shotgun shells, but it isn't. Uh, well, we know this is going to cause something terrible. Wait, how, how long do you think I'll get before the trap springs? I'm going to say I'm going to say t two seconds of running. Zero, one, two, three, four. <laughs> really? Okay. I won't complain. What's this bit over here? Ooh! What a nice little secret. Got to be paying attention to the auto map. All right, back over here now. Uh, I still haven't got any keys, uh, which is a bit of a disappointment. <laughs> And I thought I was being uh, led towards this area here for a trap to spring. Doesn't look like it did. Uh, I'm not going back in there. Where am I going? A nice little uh, secret route up here, just to uh, notice where you can jump across. Oh, there's the red key. Just walked right past it several times, I suppose. I need a door inspector in this place. Right. Oh, that leaves me back in. Where, where else could I use the red key? Right here. It's one up there. On closer inspection, that's yellow. Uh, the, oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. The whole two-level uh, infrastructure is really well done. That's yellow. Is my color blindness getting worse? Oh, there it is. Now, these hideous eyeless cacodemons have a very slow projectile, which is a blessing and a curse, more of a curse. Because it means they, you can dodge them easily the first time, but then they hang around on the map for ages. Was I just hit by two of them immediately after saying they're very easy to dodge? I think it might have been. That's the kind of content that happens in this channel. Hang on a minute. Are those Doom 64 arachnid jobs? They are. Oh, 
I once described the uh, weapon this as uh, operating like the gun from Dangerous Dave. And someone commented saying that it was weird that I said that, and why not just say a pump action shotgun, which is what it is. Do I sound like I know what a pump action shotgun is? I sound like I could give you a complete history of spreadsheets. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What? Have you changed from bullets? Yes, you have. Okay, that makes it easier to dodge. That's great. Pack a punch, though, don't they? She's, of course, immune to rocket damage. So I think this map is maybe falling into a bit of a trap that I do sometimes, where uh, having set up a big fight, you immediately then apologise for it by uh, giving a load of health and uh, bullets and so on. <coughs> and that can ease your map design just a little, because uh, you always know that the player's going to be quite well stocked going into their next big battle. But sometimes you want uh, good play to be rewarded, or maybe more accurately, bad play to be punished and uh, leave the player a bit high and dry on health sometimes if they've uh, not come out of a, an encounter quite as uh, cleanly as they could have. Isn't that difficult to balance? Yeah, it's impossible! This might be one of those instances. <laughs> You're saying, this is the challenge, you should be able to dodge these. Take care of uh, multiple different threats from multiple different angles. I think this chain gun does a bit lower spread than the normal one. Right, how do I get these? Oh, there it was. Oh, I can actually uh, go over here, because that's not line's not set to block me. Uh, I wonder how much of the map I can skip by doing that. Um, <clears throat> and again, that's a very easy mistake to make, because, you know, visually, when something looks like it should block you, it's very easy to assume it does. Oh, broken left again. Ah, uh, here's some terror and madness. Actually, we're fine. It's nice that there are so many different uh, kinds of areas here, because I, I find that when I've made a... when I've made a room too complex, I then get tempted to just copy and paste that so that I can match the uh, amount of uh, detail that I've done in one area. Saying this as, I've, as this, I've made a Doom map in the last two years, so I should really get back on that. You do a spiritual sequel to the uh, unaligned unmade series. Call it unemployed. Oh, that is amazing! It's a poly object, of course, and it's rotating. I've just never seen a poly object used like that. The uh, classic secret behind the bootcase.
I can get them better than they can get me through here. Oh, sorry, mate. Okay. Yeah, there's less, there's less health to recharge on this time. This one seems to be having a bit of difficulty. Ah, that was because of you. Now, if I take slight steps back here, I'm going to run into those fireballs. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry you had to hear that. I hope I don't expire before the end of this map, because uh, this is going quite well. Right, have I opened at least one of them by now? Uh-oh. Well... Oh, this is a fast rocket launcher. Just what I needed. Tempting blue armor, but no way to get it. Well, didn't expect you to come here. Oh, my cover's going. Oh dear. Actually, everything's fine. <laughs> this is like a Wolfenstein 3D secret or something. Uh, because they didn't have the really big pickups, they, they did these massive fields of uh, the smaller ones. Uh, oh. Are these all not going to open? I've been going with it. Ah! Oh, it's the helmet. <laughs> That's what's making the clanking noise. <clears throat> right, got the yellow key. Uh, I've been through several yellow doors by now, but uh, is there anywhere else? Because they seem to be everywhere. And... Oh, it was there, but uh, I couldn't open it from this side. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, done that, sorry. Go down there. All right, made our escape route. Thanks, mate. So, it's not, I, I don't say thanks, mate, to anyone in uh, Scotland. It's actually quite it's an English thing to say, but I only say it to Americans. I adopted it as part of my vernacular. 
Oh, that was a great uh, door opening sequence. And I've been warned that... Uh, <clears throat> I've been warned that if I don't rest my throat, I'll probably die. No, I've been warned that uh, after going to hell, there's no way back. Uh, much like real life, really. Uh, they just set us dormant until I cross this threshold. Look at that texture. All right. Somebody up there is unhappy. These are maybe slightly helpful. See the rockets coming a bit more clearly. Ah, uh, there's the other bio suit. Okay, thanks for your help. Time to die. I should say I'm playing this on the Hurt Me Plenty, uh, having anticipated that it'd be quite an epic level. Um, but yeah, I wonder if the balance of health and weapons is a uh, uh, a bit more, a bit less in the player's favour on ultra violence. I still don't have that blue key. Where? How did? Oh, there it is. Thank you. All right. It's nice that to transport through the base gets a bit easier as you go on as well. You, you don't have to take so many uh, long routes around uh, where you've been before because you can open these doors in the middle. It's a nice touch. Oh, that's a bit more than I was expecting. Oh, that's a very stretched texture there. Yeah, glad I had the night vision goggles there. It's very difficult to... Uh, I'm not going in there, am I? This looks like something from Unreal with the big poly objects they were showing off that we can move around and collide with the player. Forgot I had to breathe. Ah! That's an efficient pump. If I had been inside one of them, would I be able to get out? Don't feel like testing it, but uh, just, a, just a question, if you've anticipated that. Oh, I would be, because... Uh, That uh, arrangement was temporary. And if I'd been inside there, I'd uh, just have the... <laughs> I'd, just, I'd just be revealed like a prize on the Price is Right <laughs> to, to, to all the demons. You've won this scrap of human flesh. I used to think the reloads uh, in some weapons were annoying because they, they just sort of made it feel like a modern and much more boring shooter. But since then I've learned to appreciate it because it, it leaves you vulnerable. You have to anticipate a bit more. Oh. 
Oh! So the first time I've died on this map, it feels like it can't be. Right, so this will be the big, uh... Oh, wow, there's... I'm not even halfway through the monster count. This is an epic. Although I'm pretty sure the monster count raised significantly at one point in the map. You know, I think it was 500 and something at the start. Here are the art trials. At some point. Are they waiting for me to get the last one? Yeah, they are. Okay. Oh, couldn't quite hide from it. Oh, it's there! Nope. Remember in Doom 2 where, where it felt a bit stressful to fight two Archviles at once and they didn't even have the big horns and the enhanced attack? Ah, caught by one of them. Two of them. Where is he? Was too arrogant. <clears throat> One, two, three. <clears throat> oh dear, I'm I'm sorry about this. Only I'm really annoying. Uh streamers and uh, people on YouTube cough into the microphone all the time. Right, how do I get out? <clears throat> yeah, that's that's the only thing in this map that I would say looks terrible. <laughs> the, the rest is fantastic. It's really weird seeing the overstretched texture there. Gonna have to wait. No! <clears throat> On glance down at my keys. <clears throat> is that Revenant from Doom 64 as well, or is that original? Just don't know. jump across. Oh, you wanker. Another couple of lucky stuns. Oh, come on. Sometimes uh, retreat is the appropriate response. <laughs> oh, 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oops. Lucky kill. Bootcase doors. And is that the end? I've, I've only killed half the monsters. There's a, some mega secret that I missed containing another half of the level. Uh, getting back is probably an unwise idea just now, seeing as I've got three health. But while I'm exploring here as much as I dare to, uh, I've just got to summarise the map saying this is a... It's spectacular. I love how it all connects together and opens up as you go. I love how uh, the supercharged monsters... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. There we go. Absolute treasure cache. I think I wasted half those backpacks. <laughs> So you've now got an uh, uh, incredible arsenal to uh, take on the last monsters, should you choose to. Do they just keep on coming in here? Is that is that where all the Monster King is coming from? I haven't used this one very much, have I? Not now, phone. Um, yeah, okay. I, I'm terribly interested to see where these other monsters are. Um, what, what can we do? IDDT twice? There's one. Uh, there are quite a few of them. Not a massive number, though. Is there any uh, holding cell around here? I don't know. Oh, there they are. Just lined up, ready to be released, and there's a blue skull key there. Yeah, maybe I'll spend a little bit more time in this map. It's that yellow door there. That leads to an invulnerability. Let's see if we can find a way over there. That's the entrance. That's the door I can't open. That is a door that's newly open. But that can't be opened. So this is a super secret little area. All right. I really would like that BFG. Oh, here he comes. Oh, it burns them. That's nice. This is a nice little view here. The, it reminds me of E1M1, the viewing out onto the courtyard. Here we go. Sorry, I did that the stupid, dangerous way. Oh, there's actually a bit more to this. Oh, that's John Murray's head. Goodbye, John Romero. That was UAC Blackside. Only 54 kills, so there's more to this map than I uh, than I explored, but... Uh, <laughs> don't come at me with that saying, oh, it's my first map. That, that was brilliant. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I've said why. Uh, please make more Doom maps. <laughs> and good luck becoming a, a, a full game designer. 
Thanks once more to everyone listed here for sponsoring my videos. If you'd like to join the Discord or have some ideas for future games to cover, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.